Japan is a country of islands, with over 6,800 of them scattered across the Pacific Ocean. Each island has its own charm and character, offering a variety of experiences and attractions for travelers. Whether you are looking for natural beauty, cultural heritage, or adventure, there is an island for you. In this video, we will introduce 10 of the most beautiful islands to visit in Japan, each with its own unique appeal. Let's start. Number 10. Okinawa, the southernmost prefecture of Japan, consisting of over 150 islands. It is known for its subtropical climate, coral reefs, and sandy beaches. It is also rich in history and culture, as it was once an independent kingdom with its own language and customs. Okinawa is a popular destination for water sports, such as diving, snorkeling, and surfing. You can also enjoy the local cuisine, which is influenced by Chinese, Southeast Asian, and American flavors. You can try the Goya Shampuru, the taco rice, and the awamori, as well as the seafood, pork, and fruits. Okinawa is a destination that will relax and refresh you with its warmth and hospitality. Number 9. Hokkaido, the northernmost island of Japan, covering about 20% of the country's land area. It is famous for its natural beauty, especially its volcanoes, lakes, and hot springs. It is also home to some of the best ski resorts and snow festivals in the world. Hokkaido is a great place to enjoy the seasons, as each one offers a different scenery and activity. You can see the lavender fields in summer, the autumn leaves in fall, the snow sculptures in winter, and the cherry blossoms in spring. You can also savor the local cuisine, which is based on fresh and high-quality ingredients. You can taste the ramen, the crab, and the cheese, as well as the beer, wine, and sake. Hokkaido is a destination that will impress you with its grandeur and diversity. Number 8. Miyajima, a small island near Hiroshima, also known as Itsukushima. It is famous for its iconic Tori Gate, which appears to float on the water at high tide. It is also a sacred site, as it has a centuries-old shrine, a pagoda, and a temple. Miyajima is a destination for history and culture, as you can learn about the Shinto and Buddhist traditions, as well as the local folklore and legends. You can also enjoy the wildlife, as the island is inhabited by friendly deer, monkeys, and birds. You can also sample the local cuisine, which includes oysters, eel, and maple leaf-shaped cakes. Miyajima is a destination that will fascinate you with its charm and spirituality. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll join our global community of travelers and get access to more amazing destinations, tips, and stories. Don't miss this opportunity to discover new places and cultures with Trevelia. Number 7. Rabin, a small island off the coast of Hokkaido, near the northern tip of Japan. It is famous for its alpine flowers, which bloom from spring to autumn. It is also a place of scenic beauty, as it has cliffs, hills, and lakes. Rabin is a destination for flower and nature lovers, as you can see the Rebin Atsumori, a rare flower that grows only on this island, the Rabin Usuyuki, a white poppy that covers the fields, and the Rabin Butterbur, a yellow flower that resembles a sunflower. You can also enjoy the hiking trails. Number 6. Nijima is a small island in the Izu Islands, about 160 kilometers south of Tokyo. It is famous for its surfing culture, as it has some of the best waves in Japan. It is also known for its natural attractions, such as the Miyatsuka, a hill that offers a panoramic view of the island, the Habushira, a long and sandy beach, and the Yunohama, a natural hot spring. Nijima is a destination for surfing and relaxation, as you can enjoy the surf spots, such as the Secret Point, the Flying Sumo, and the Habushira Beach Park. Number 5. Ishigaki, the main island of the Yayama Islands, located in the southwestern tip of Japan. It is known for its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and coral reefs. It is also a gateway to other nearby islands, 
such as Iriomoti, Takatomi, and Kohama. Ishigaki is a destination for island hopping, as you can take a ferry or a boat to explore the different attractions and activities of each island. You can also enjoy the local culture, which is influenced by the Ryukyu Kingdom, Taiwan, and Okinawa. You can listen to the Sanshin, a three-stringed instrument, watch the Isa, a traditional dance, and wear the Minsa, a woven fabric. You can also taste the local cuisine, which features tropical fruits, vegetables, and seafood. Ishigaki is a destination that will delight you with its variety and fun. Number 4. Shikoku, the smallest and least populated of the four main islands of Japan, but it is also one of the most scenic and cultural. It is famous for its 88 temple pilgrimage, which covers about 1,200 kilometers and attracts thousands of pilgrims every year. It is also known for its natural attractions, such as the Naruto Whirlpools, the Iya Valley, and the Shikoku Karst. Shikoku is a destination for pilgrimage and adventure, as you can follow the footsteps of the Buddhist monk Kukai, who founded the Shingon sect of Buddhism. You can also enjoy the local cuisine, which is based on wheat, soy, and citrus. You can try the udon, the somen, and the sanuki, as well as the sudachi, the yuzu, and the maikon. Shikoku is a destination that will challenge and reward you with its history and nature. Number 3. Oshima, the largest island in the Izu Islands, about 120 kilometers south of Tokyo. It is famous for its volcanic activity, as it has the Mount Mihara, an active volcano that last erupted in 1986. It is also a place of historical and cultural interest, as it has the Oshima Park, a botanical garden that features tropical plants, the Oshima Museum, which exhibits the history and geology of the island, and the Oshima Tsubaki Festival, which celebrates the camellia flowers that are native to the island. Oshima is a destination for volcano and culture enthusiasts, as you can experience the volcanic sites, such as the lava fields, the craters, and the fumaroles. You can also enjoy the local cuisine, which includes the kurozu, a black vinegar made from fermented rice, the kamameshi, a rice dish cooked in a pot with various ingredients, and the shochu, a distilled liquor made from sweet potatoes. Oshima is a destination that will fascinate you with its volcano and culture. Number 2. Ogasawara, a group of islands in the Pacific Ocean, about 1,000 kilometers south of Tokyo. It is also known as the Bonin Islands, which means uninhabited islands in Japanese. It is famous for its biodiversity, as it has many endemic species of plants and animals, such as the Ogasawara fruit bat, the bone and flying fox, and the Ogasawara honey eater. It is also a place of natural beauty, as it has volcanic mountains, tropical forests, and coral reefs. Ogasawara is a destination for wildlife and nature, as you can see the whales, the dolphins, and the turtles, which visit the islands seasonally. You can also enjoy the local culture, which is influenced by the American, British, and Japanese settlers. You can learn about the Ogasawara language, which is a creole of English and Japanese, and the Ogasawara cuisine, which features coconut, banana, and papaya. Ogasawara is a destination that will amaze you with its diversity and beauty. Number 1. Okinawarabu is a small island in the Amami Islands, located in the southwestern part of Japan. It is famous for its limestone caves, which are among the largest and oldest in Japan. It is also a place of natural beauty, as it has beaches, forests, and coral reefs. Okinorabu is a destination for cave and nature explorers, as you can visit the Shoryudo Cave, which has a length of 3.5 kilometers and a depth of 100 meters, the Tamashima Cave, which has a pool of clear water and a waterfall, and the Onohira Cave, which has a variety of stalactites and stalagmites. These are just 10 of the most beautiful islands to visit in Japan, but there are many more to explore and enjoy. Each island has its own charm and appeal, and offers something for everyone. Traveling to these islands is a great way to experience the beauty and diversity of Japan, and to discover new and exciting things. So, what are you waiting for? Start planning your next island adventure today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.
And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you want to see more of my content, you can check out these videos on the screen right now. They are related to the topic of this video, and I think you will find them interesting and helpful. Just click on the one you want to watch next and enjoy. Thank you again for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy travels!